Uh, here's the other 49er thing. There's more? Oh, but wait. It's March. There's more. The league year is, is a newborn. Three hours ago, guess who took to Twitter for the first time in a month and a half? Dream on green. No. <laughs> oh. Not a Niner. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I messed that up. Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk sent his first tweet in six weeks. Oh. Would you like to know what he wrote? Is this for sure, Brandon Ayuk? Because I've been duped. Oh, 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 blue check. The two era blue check. Oh, okay. I'll That's buy it. BA. That stands for Brandon Ayuk. Not BA Baracus. No. Shout out the A team. <laughs> not, not, Brian Anderson. And not what BA normally means when you walk into a room. Bear that Apple. guy BA'd me. Anyway. That's a nice 80 year old <laughs> reference. <laughs> Totally. Seriously. I wonder, I'll try that with the kids tonight. Do you know what it means to BA somebody? Or to moon somebody. <laughs> Ask them if they know what it is to moon somebody. Same like, response. Like Dad, it's daylight savings. The moon's not out yet. But it's anyway. rain. I haven't seen the moon in months. No joke. All right. Three hours ago. First tweet in six weeks. It's the off season. <laughs> BA goes, 1K as the fourth option in a run-first offense Double laughy emoji. I'm as real as it get. Word to little baby and SG. I'm ready to stand on business every time. Year four, rocket ship, rocket ship, rocket ship. Three three rocket ships? Triple rocket ship. Triple ship. And that's not because the Warriors beat the Rockets last night. I'm confident. Yeah. Wow. Now let me translate. 1K is referring to 1,000 yards. 1,000 yards as the fourth option. And 15, 1,015. There you go. In a run-first offense, double laughy emoji, I'm as real as it get. In other words, this would be, and again, it is a speculation sensation, but if a guy's going to take to Twitter (laughs) for the first time in six weeks in March and start singing the praises of his own stats... And sort of presenting them in, you got to understand what 1,000 yards means in a run first offense where you're option four. Because 1,000 yards, when you're right at 1,000 for a receiver, that's good, but it's not like you're a one. You're not Justin Jefferson. Well, do you know how many players, Mark, had 1,000 yards receiving oh. last year in the National Football League? Well, let's hear it. Randy, if you wouldn't mind, go game show music, please. There we go. How many wide receivers got a thousand yards last year? I would guess. You mentioned the guy who led the league, Justin Jefferson, eighteen oh nine for double J's. Um, you know, like I know both them Dolphins, Jalen and Tyreek both went over. Jalen thirteen fifty six. Tyreek. Uh Tyreek. Uh, I don't. know. Oh yeah, Tyreek seventeen ten. Yeah, that's it, three. You've it, you've named three of the. And then, yeah, Anthony Ortiz just paid four ninety nine. Are you out of your mind on YouTube to say Parag Marate has a challenge on his hands? Oh, I'll get to that coming up. And that is correct. That is absolutely correct. I would say it was about. Um, I'll, I'll give you. You like to do parameters? I'll give yeah, you give plus or minus two spots. I say twelve. Oh, uh, the correct answer is twenty-two. Oh my God! Brandon Ayuk was twenty-second in the national damn football league, and I believe I don't know how many teams had two other than Miami. I'm just scanning the list. Yeah, but I, can't, I don't think anybody did. The Bengals did. Did did T Higgins maybe? Uh, Jamar Chase had ten forty-six. T Higgins had ten twenty-nine. There you so go. They had the two. There you go. And uh, so such names as the Bengals uh, and the Dolphins, Devonte Adams, AJ Brown, Stephon Diggs, of course, C. D. Lamb. There you go. Uh, Travis Kelsey, the only tight end on the list. Uh-huh. Devonte Smith, Terry McLaurin, underrated as a commander. Your guy, Amon Ra St. Brown. Brown. Yes, sir. Uh, Amari Cooper. Oh, there are teammates. Uh, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett are, Good call. Both, are both on yeah, the list. Yeah, and they're both near the bottom. Oh, Chris Olave, the rookie. And Chris Godwin and Mike Evans both on the list. So there you go. Okay. And just uh, to refute BA's tweet just a little bit, you're not target number four when you lead your team in receptions, when you lead your team in targets, you lead your team in yards, and you're second on the team in receiving touchdowns. No, that gonna, doesn't feel like a four to me. No, I'm going to back him. 
If I said to you, go through the options, and again, he's not saying numbers. He's saying options, which means plays run for him or however the team sort of approaches offense. Would you not agree that Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey, and George Kittle are higher on the option pecking order with the way Kyle Shanahan runs plays? I I agree with him. It's debatable in terms of him and Debo Samuel. I agree with him. Now, uh, Debo, especially since Debo gets balls out of the backfield so much more. 42 carries. Yeah. Uh, 94 targets. Ayuk by far had the most targets on the team. Right, because he's the best route runner. So, but I don't, I, I, like, as far as this is the way we approach our offense, who's the option? Like, Debo is being paid to be an option one. So is Christian McCaffrey. And Kittle's and making so mad Kittle. money, too. And so, this is where, and I love the comment from, uh, I believe it was, uh, what, Carlos uh, Anthony, I'm sorry, Anthony Ortiz. You're getting your five bucks worth because you are so right. Parag Marate's got his hands yeah, full. Yeah, do. Uh, Brandon oh, yeah. Ayuk, if they want to pick up his fifth year option, he will make fourteen point one million dollars in his fifth year. So the team isn't going to pick up his fifth year option. Oh. They're going to give him a new deal. Uh, well, correct. Which so my my read on this mm-hmm. is the 49ers have made the first call to Brandon Ayuk, and they're trying to get that extension done before Brandon goes out and has. An incredible year next year. Uh, remember also that, in theory, who's quarterbacking this team has a lot to do with the numbers that a receiver will put up. Now, none of the quarterbacking options over the last year, Purdy, Garoppolo, Lance, none of them have looked to be like high-flying, throwing-type offense quarterbacks. But... Trey Lance, they ran the ball a lot. Garoppolo has trouble downfield. The offense became more dynamic when Brock Purdy took over. So if I'm the 49ers, I'm going, if Brandon's putting up 1,015 this year, what would a healthy year, if he gets 17 games with Brock Purdy, what would that look like next year? And they're right. Like, we should get this done now before he puts up another 1,000-yard season. Mm. And I think Brandon looked at the number they put in front of him and went, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Yeah. Uh, you're handing the ball to Debo right, Christian left, Kittle up the middle, and I put up 1,000 yards anyway, and you put that in front of me? He's right. Brandon Ayuk's numbers, if he were a Bengal, would be way better. If he were a Viking... Well, if he was a Bengal, he'd be their third option, or well, maybe their fourth option. I mean, replacing... His, like, if he were in that kind of an offense, if he were a Dolphin, then his numbers would be right there with Jalen Waddles. If he was a Bills. I believe. Or yes. if he was a Chargers, yes, for example. Was a Bills. I think you're right. Yes, I agree. Yes. I mentioned Terry McLaurin as one of the 22, and you were wrong about that, yeah, if I, I could point it out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 22 guys over 1,000 yards. Terry McLaurin signed a three-year deal... Sixty-eight point three million, fifty-three million guaranteed. So if you're Brandon Ayuk, you look at the McLaurin deal, and who played every game like Ayuk did. McLaurin had eleven ninety-one receiving yards and only five touchdowns. Comparable numbers. If you're Brandon Ayuk, you're saying, "Let me get in the McLaurin neighborhood here." Absolutely. Parag. Yep. But can the Niners afford that? The good news is, well... They they better. They got quarterbacks making nothing. That's the thing. They got no excuse to not be able to handle Brandon Ayuk, in my opinion. Well, you got Bosa, who needs to get paid. Yep. And And uh, you got Ayuk, who needs to be paid. Right. And, you know, you're in a situation where, if he is your fourth option, maybe you you move him up the pecking order and you do something with another one of your guys. I'm sure if the 49ers are looking at it that way, they're sitting there going, okay, how many teams in the NFL go big money on two wide receivers? Not great business. It's not great business. And Tom Brady, right, for years uh, succeeded with the Patriots without star wide receivers. So if the 49ers are a run first offense and they're going to be based on Christian McCaffrey, do you want to pay big dollars for two receivers? I, the answer inside those hallways is probably no. No. But, I, but I'll just say this as a fan I do not want Brandon Ayuk walking out that door. I do not want that at all. I would be more interested two years from now in Ayuk being on the team and and Debo trades being explored. I would. I would. Ayuk is a better route runner, and Debo is a bigger injury risk. 
Debo, three years, $71 million with $58 million guaranteed. If you're Ayuk, you're saying, let me get some of that Debo cheddar. 